Uh, my name is Minky Lee. So I'm a postdoc researcher in OSGI Lab. OSGI Lab. So today my talk about accelerating electrospray diffusion film discovery through Bayesian optimization. So these days many experiments are tedious, time consuming, and resource demanding. To solve this problem, uh, uh, many Researcher and Lobel have begun to partner to accelerate scientific discovery process so by combining AI and machine learning algorithm. So autonomous experimentation is one of that. Autonomous experimentation comprises an iterative research loop as below, and that is carried out autonomously toward the research objective without human intervention. So key point of autonomous experimentation is this kind of closed system. So they conduct the experiment and analyze and plan the next sampling point in this closed system. Uh, so today I'd like to introduce you how to select autonomous experimentation, select the next uh, sampling point, and how they control the experiment equipment using Python code. So first I'd like to introduce Python, uh, Bayesian optimization. Bayesian optimization is probabilistic approach for finding the optimal set of parameter by iteratively evaluating and upgrading the model. The Bayesian optimization have two key components. First one is uh, surrogate model, and second one is equation function. Surrogate model approximate the objective function based on previous data, and acquisition function uh, search the next sampling point based on the surrogate model's prediction. So there are many kind of acquisition function, so you can choose one of them depending on your target. And this figure shows the process of Bayesian optimization using these two initial point. Surrogate model make this kind of approximate for approximate the objective function and Acquisition function determine the next sampling point. As you can see, this triangle shows the next sampling point. So every uh, iteration, Bayesian optimization repeated this kind of process. So the goal of this Bayesian optimization is not to determine the objective function. The real goal of this Bayesian optimization is determine the maximum or minimum value and then select the best possible maximum and minimum value. So as a result, this method efficiently guide the search toward the optimal set of parameter for your experiment. So this is the example of the Bayesian optimization, uh, which is two dimensional parameter, X and Y. The minimum value occurs at 2,5. And we, let's say we are trying to find the minimum value with, uh, if we were to use uh, grid sampling method, domain size 10 by 10, then it takes 100 experiments. However, if we use Bayesian optimization method, as you can see in this video, only 19 iteration is needed to find the minimum value. Even if we were to increase the domain size 100 by 100, then only 30 iteration is needed to find the minimum value. So instead of conducting 10,000 of experiment. So until now, I talk about Bayesian optimization process. Now I want to talk about how autonomous experimentation control the experimental equipment using Python code. In our case, we use electrospray diffusion method. Electrospray diffusion method is a well-known spray coating method uh, and using the high voltage and syringe pump. So in this technique, high voltage is applied to, to the needle point and electric field is created and charged drum net go to the collector. So uh, uh, to, minimi to minimize the researcher intervention during the experiment, we upgrade the experimental setup by adding syringe pump and camera temperature controller and linear stage. 
In general, laboratory equipment is operated by special, their own special software or their tool, such as MATLAB or LabVIEW. However, it can be operated by Python code using PyVisa. And this is an example of that. PyVisa is a Python package that enables you to control experimental equipment through the RS-232 port. And by referring to equipment manual, we identify the available command that we can send to equipment. This is a simple example of the PyVisa, and this is the one of the command from the syringe pumps manual. I run means the run the pump in the infish direction. So once the connection is established by PyVisa, like this, we send the I run command. Then we immediately observe syringe pump starting to move as we expected. And this kind using this kind of method, we connect all the experimental equipment for the electrospray deposition. So this is the, our experimental setup for the spray deposition method. And this is panel created by Python GUI code. This panel allows us to adjust all the experimental parameters, such as position, temperature, flow rate, and voltage, and spray time. And this is uh, uh, monitor, we can monitor the Taylor cone's shape during the experiment because stable Taylor cone is crucial for get high quality uh, coating film. So when the Taylor cone's shape change from ideal case to the dripping mode or jetting mode, then we, can, we observe the non-homogeneous film coating. So in order to maintain stable telecon, we add PID control system at here, and it helps maintain the stable telecon shape throughout the process. Now, I will show the toy problem for the slip prey deposition method. Uh, the toy problem's target is to optimize the concentration and annealing time that maximize the film's contact angle and transmittance. So as you can see in this cross-roof system, using the electrospray deposition method, we spray PSM, PMMA polymer solution on the surface. And after annealing process, we measure the contact angle and transmittance of the film. And using this parameter and measure data, Bayesian optimization uh, determine the next experimental parameter. So this process is repeated until convergence. And since we manually measure the contact angle and transmittance of the film, we can call it semi-autonomous experimentation. And before we start the semi-autonomous experimentation, uh, we get the initial data uh, depending on the PS concentration and annealing time. Let's see this transmittance data first. As we expected, when we increase the annealing time, higher transmittance data was observed. However, in the, in the contact angle case, as you can see at the 50% PS concentration, the highest contact angle is observed. So for the simple experiment, we fixed the PS concentration and conduct the semi-autonomous experimentation to optimize the annealing time. So this is the result of semi-autonomous experimentation. Let's see this graph first. Y-axis means the contact angle, but uh, it have to display it upside down. I'm sorry about that. And X-axis means the annealing time. And using the first data, Bayesian optimization surrogate model approximate this kind of objective function, and acquisition function calculate the next sampling point. And after certain iteration, the optimal annealing time was identified. As you can see, 13 minutes is optimal annealing time to make the highest contact angle 84 degree. And during the annealing process, the polymer domain merge and form a large morphology. I thought that this kind of morphology change affect to the contact angle. Next, data is 
semi-autonomous experimentation for transmittance. So after eight iterations, the optimal annealing time was identified, as you can see it in this graph. And what I want to emphasize is that parameters suggested by Bayesian optimization uh, can vary depending on your desired outcome. Now I want to summarize my work. Today I briefly introduced about autonomous experimentation. This autonomous experimentation is process of using AI and machine learning algorithm. So Bayesian optimization helps us explore parameter more efficiently with fewer iteration and all the experimental equipment was connect and controlled by Python code. And finally, we show the toy problem using semi-autonomous experimentation. So this is end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.